All right, here's a nice looking binomial distribution question from the textbook. Now in this one, we need to find the least possible value of n for this situation to be true. So all we know is we have a binomial distribution. I don't know how many times I repeat the experiment. I do know my probability of success is 0.2. And this other one here, which is kind of interesting, is that I know that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 needs to be greater than 0.75. So let's think about what that might look like on a probability distribution table. So I could get have zero successes, one success, two successes, three successes, four, all the way up to n successes. Right? But I don't really know how many times I'm repeating this experiment. And then my pro probability of success, right? I, all I know is, is that all of these combined needs to be greater than 0 0.75. So if the probability of getting a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, all the way up to 9, if all together, if that is greater than 0.75, then this one here must be less than or equal to 0.25. So really what I'm looking for is I'm saying the probability that x is equal to 0 must be less than or equal to 0.25. So now I've got something I can work with. So let's think about the formula for binomial distribution. Right? If I set it up for this, that's saying that I'm repeating an experiment n times with zero successes. Okay, look, my x value is zero. So I'm having zero successes. So that's 0.2 to the power of zero. And then everything else is a failure. N failures, right? That's an N. Now, in this one, I want this to be less than or equal to 0.25. Now, n choose 0, and that's saying how many ways can I have, can I choose nothing or no things from n number of things? That's just going to be equal to 1. 0 0.2 to the power of 0, that's just equal to 1. So I'm left with 0 0.8 to the power of n needs to be less than or equal to 0 0.25. Okay, so if I try and solve this with logs, I've got n log 0 0.8 needs to be less than log of 0 0.25. Now here I have to be really careful because when I, if I check my calculator, log of 0 0.8 is actually a negative number, right? Log of 0.8 is negative 0 0.096. So this is negative, so when I divide both those sides by a negative, I need to switch the direction of my inequality. So this becomes log 0 0.25 divided by log of 0 0.8. But now I'm saying n has to be bigger than or equal to whatever I get here. So now I can use my calculator here. So I can do this for you here. Oops, so I did... Uh, clear this. I have log 0.25. You can see that's also negative, but then when I divide it by log of 0.8, I should end up with a positive. So n needs to be greater than or equal to 6.21. Alright, so let's go back to what we were trying to work out. I'm saying the probability, I want the probability of x equal to be equal to zero needs to be less than or equal to 25. That's going to happen as long as n is greater than or equal to 6.21. So if it's equal to, if I repeat it six times, if n is equal to six, that's not big enough. So the next value of n is seven. So n needs to be equal to seven. That is the least number of times, we go back to that question, what is the least number of times that I can repeat this process so that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 is bigger than 0 0.75?